Welcome back everyone to another Alpha Omega Wine Club Allocation video. I'm your virtual ambassador, Barrett Spiegel, and we've got two delicious wines from our March Wine Club Allocation to taste and discuss today. Our 2020 1155 Sauvignon Blanc and our 2018 Red Wine Blend from Alpha Omega. Joining me here on our crush pad overlooking beautiful Rutherford once again, we've got our winemaker, Matt Brain. Great to be here. Great to have you back, Matt. Also joining us, we have our assistant winemaker, Melissa Paris. Excited to be here. Guys, this is uh, another really fun wine club, uh, a highly anticipated release of the 1155 Sauvignon Blanc, a wine that just flies. A wine that flies, a wine that's got some impressive scores um, from the reviewers recently, um, a wine that Paris and I are both really proud of. Excellent. Mm. Very excited to talk about it, the new release of the 1155 Sauvignon Blanc. And this is a fun kind of new wine for Alpha Omega right here. Uh, I mean, let's keep tasting and enjoying wines from the 2018 vintage, yeah. the Red Wine Blend. Brand mm. new wine here. Yeah, brand new. Also, uh, one of the wines that we did in collaboration with Andy Erickson, mm -hmm. our consulting winemaker. So really happy about this wine. Yeah, yeah. Really one of our first opportunities to collaborate with Andy to uh, to um, put a blend together that really represents kind of the elegant um, style mm -hmm. that Andy is known for. So yeah, excited mm -hmm. to get into this wine with you guys and uh, excited for our customers to share it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. We're excited for our club members to get these two wines in their March allocation. And uh, we're also excited to have one of our favorite special guest chef, Jesse McQuarrie is here today. And chef has put together two pairings for both of these wines. And uh, Matt, why don't we go check in with Chef and see what's going on. Yeah, let's check it out. How are you, Jesse? I'm doing wonderful. Great. How are you doing, Matt? Very good. So we're talking about pairing two wines here with two separate dishes. What have you got for us today? Well, we're with the with the Sauv Blanc, uh, I've chosen to pair it with a uh, peach and brie tart. Mm, lovely. Um, the rest of, recipe will be online. It's fairly easy, um, as you can see here. Gorgeous. Incredible. Um, the, the fleshy notes of the peach will pair well with this wine, the little tropical notes of the wine, and uh, the uh, lusciousness of the brie, I think it's going to complement that. Yeah. Okay, then moving forward, we have, I'm browning off some fresh pork in the pan. Uh, after this, I'm going to take it out of the pan and let it rest, and then I'm going to start making my sauce, which is in the recipe. Uh, there's a myriad of, of wonderful spices that are all available at, at your local grocery store, and uh, some chili purees, onions, garlic. Mm. We're gonna get that going, then we're gonna fold the pork back into the sauce, and then while that's cooking, I'm gonna take these beautifully diced uh, watermelon, mm -hmm. onions, jalapenos, fresh cilantro, and lime juice, and make a watermelon pico de gallo, which the sweetness, yeah. with, the, the, with the lusciousness of the pork and that deep-bodied <clears throat> sauce that we're gonna create, it's gonna be primo with the uh, wine. Lovely, the wine. love the <laughs> ideas, love the flavor pairings. Yeah. Uh, let's let you keep working back here for Absolutely. a little bit and we're gonna circle back to you in a mm -hmm. few minutes and, and check on the progress, okay? Will do. Awesome. Excellent, thank you, Chef and you Matt. Uh, definitely looking forward to these two pairings mm -hmm. uh, to pair with both of these wines for our March Wine Club. Mm. Um, and uh, again, this is the 2020 first release of the 1155 Sauvignon Blanc. Very excited about uh, this vintage, mm -hmm. Matt and Melissa, mm -hmm. uh, and the whites are starting to come out here. Um, so let's dive into our 1155 Sauvignon Blanc. Obviously, our estate vineyard right in front of the winery, mm -hmm. a yes. stellar site for Sauvignon Blanc. Yep, great spot, a cool, cool climate spot. You know, um, heavier clay soils that kind of trap um, the coolness of the night and kind of hold on to it for a little while. So a nice, long, uh, extended ripening, slow ripening that, that mm -hmm. takes place in this vineyard. Perfect for the uh, retention of great acidity, which is always a very important factor in our Sauvignon Blanc. But we also get some really nice citrus notes and just maybe a little hint of tropical notes in there as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Paris, that, that uh, vineyard right up front there, uh, really the first uh, original vineyard uh, for Alpha Omega when yeah. Robin and Michelle Baggett, our vintners, purchased the property in 2006. You're looking at 33-year-old 30, Sauvignon Blanc vines, but big old bed of clay over there. Oh yeah. It on. So oh, yeah. retains water, adds a little bit of uh, sort of minerality mm -hmm. in the wine because of yeah. that. 
but delicious Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, no better varietal to be planted out front than Sauvignon Blanc, yeah, that's right. right? We know that. Uh, we also love the fact that with this particular wine, you know, we're a lot, we can kind of go to a couple other vineyards that we source from as well for mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc. We always highlight and feature our estate vineyard, our 1155, but it's kind of fun to go out and see, well, let's see what other regions are doing or what other AVAs are doing with the Sauvignon Blanc and mm -hmm. bringing that to the table as well. And that adds complexity. It sure does. You know, another thing that we do to add complexity is we ferment uh, the Sauvignon Blanc both in stainless steel mm -hmm. tanks as well as in barrels. And in terms of the barrel program, instead of using new traditional French oak, we've actually become very, very fond of using French acacia oak yeah. in this wine. And folks, acacia oak brings a really interesting lift to the aromatics of Sauvignon Blanc. You know, it's not as warm, it's not as nutty, it's mm -hmm. not as rich. Um, as, as traditional French oak, but it gives a focus to the fruit and it yeah. gives an elevation and complexity to the, to the citrus tropical fruit without distracting from it. So that's a neat, neat thing that we've kind of continued to adopt in this program is just the incorporation of new acacia oak barrels with some, you know, uh, intermix of some older traditional French barrels. Right. Um, and yeah, we, we have a tiny bit of Semillon in mm -hmm. this as well, also planted on the estate. So really, once again, what we try to do here is, is work with grapefruit, and create um, a nice expressive wine, but a complex wine. So a little bit of different techniques to uh, achieve complexity in the Sauvignon Blanc, say, than we'd use in our Chardonnay or in some of our red wines. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's a great point because I get a lot of guests that come in and taste at Alpha Omega that always comment about our 1155 Sauvignon Blanc that it sort of has the profile of, of a Chardonnay. Fresh mm -hmm. acidity, a lot mm -hmm. of layers of fruit, mm -hmm. but there's texture to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mm -hmm. have a, a, a lean mid palate, if you will. Right. There's a lot going on in the mid palate. Yeah, yeah and again, that's what you get when you've got different fermentation vessels mm -hmm. and different styles that we kind of bring about with that oak and the stainless portion. You yep. know, most Sauvignon Blancs traditionally, you know, especially in New Zealand and other parts of the world that have kind of put their thumb on Sauvignon Blanc, it is stainless, stainless, yeah. stainless all yeah. the way, which is fantastic and wonderful um, sure. for for them. But for us, we've kind of want more complexity on yeah. our stuff. We and, want to be able to move it. And, and really great cooperage brings um, a seriousness to the wine. Yeah. And I think that when you get a white wine with great mouthfeel, as you mentioned, Barrett, um, but that's a serious wine, you, your mind immediately goes to Chardonnay. Right. But the fruit character of this wine is definitely Sauvignon yeah. Blanc. It's citrus, it's tropical, it's, it's lean and bright in a way that, that definitely um, is a great representation of the grape, but brings it into our AO style. Mm -hmm. Complexity, serious wine. Yeah. A lot of fresh acidity too, yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, which will allow it to be very food yeah. friendly. Yeah, but very thirst quenching. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, this is that summer, uh, summer, uh, you know, patio pounder, mm -hmm. kill, it, kill it, kill uh, it. You know, this thing is way too easy to drink. Yeah. And one of those wines at Alpha Mega where uh, a lot of our members buy it by the case yep. and it still goes very, oh, very yeah. quickly in their cellars. Yep. That's right. You know, there's uh, as much great Cabernet as there is in this valley. There's a lot less great Sauvignon yeah, Blanc. Right. Uh, lucky to have our own estate here out front. So yeah, a little bit limited on how much we can make on that wine. So, you know, like all the wines, it's going to go fast. So folks get here, taste it. If you like it, grab some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll per be on to the next vintage pretty soon. Perfect <laughs> wine to release right at the beginning of springtime uh, in our March wine, al wine yes. club allocation. Vines are about to wake up. The season's mm -hmm. beginning and you get some Sauvignon Blanc uh, just in time for the summer. That's right. Perfect and, wine. And there's just nothing like tasting a wine right directly where the grapes come from. So sitting out on our patio, literally looking out across our fountains at the vineyard estate, yeah. um, there's no better way to experience that wine than being right there in the spot. Yeah, and Chef's got a, a, a peach brie tart yes. uh, to pair with this 1155 <laughs> oh. Sauvignon Blanc, which uh, sounds absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, that sounds like a great dessert or a great first course, right? I mean, right? I, I, could, I could have a little side salad. That could be my main, totally. Chef. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, right now. a little appetizer there, yeah. <laughs> yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Obviously, great wine by itself, mm -hmm. great with food. Uh, looking forward to uh, trying this uh, peach brie tart recipe mm, at home. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, that will be posted on right. our website, aowinery.com. Uh, and let's just be real, for, for our club members that are getting a bottle of our 55 Sauvignon Blanc in the March Wine Club, not enough. Not enough. I mean, mm. it's it one bottle. You can. Get it while you can. <laughs> Just order it now. Come on. Yeah. Get it while you can. Game. Uh, the 2020 vintage. Very excited about the whites coming out of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, our 1155 Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, once again, you guys just created another fantastic representation of this Thank wine. You. Thanks. I think it's showing very well right now. Um, yeah, yeah, as you say, it's fresh, it's clean. It's a great wine to be sharing with you folks today. Look at this day we have yeah, here. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Beautiful spring day, sunny, cool, incredible. Love it. 
Love it. Our 11.55 Sauvignon Blanc, folks. Enjoy that. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we would love to just keep drinking this, but we've got uh, another great wine do. that we want to dive we into. Uh, an, an interesting wine from Alpha Omega from the 2018 vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, let's just have more 18 uh, red wines from Alpha Omega when we can. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a fun collaboration with uh, Andy Erickson mm -hmm. and uh, would love to talk more about this with our people. Mm -hmm. um, the 2018 red wine blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Andy has been uh, such a pleasure and such a treat, such an incredible addition to our winemaking team. Absolutely. Um, you know, his depth of knowledge of Napa, his understanding of the different appellations, his his uh, vineyard sourcing, it has to be unmatched. And I think this wine really represents that. Um, it's a diverse wine. We've got a number of different appellations here. We've got such a diversity of, of grapes in this wine that it needs to be called a red wine blend. And you know, we when Andy came aboard, we immediately started working on these wines together and we've released a couple of different AVA mm -hmm. offerings um, from that initial collaboration. And I think this is maybe our last offering to, yep. to be released from it 2018. Is. Um, and this wine is just, it, it's fantastic in my mind. It really represents Andy's style um, and which is, you know, compared to Alpha Omega, it's a little bit more elegant, a little bit more um, precise and, uh, it's very smooth, it's very approachable, and I think our customers are gonna immediately see Andy's style on mm -hmm. this wine, and I think that that is gonna be a whole different experience for people to, to see um, kind of uh, Andy's vision. Uh, they know what our house vision is for the wines, yeah. and it's gonna be really fun for all of us to, to experience this collaboration and moving forward and, um, and really bringing Andy's expertise into what we do. Yeah. yeah, and another fun blend from Alpha Omega. We we love, obviously, our Cabernet Sauvignons, our single vineyard Cabernet Sauvignons here at Alpha Omega. But uh, when we're able to blend some of these other varieties together, Paris, mm -hmm. uh, we're constructing this just really unique wines. I mean, this is a blend very different than what we've done in the past. 55% mm -hmm. Cabernet Sauvignon, 15% Petit Verdot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very Huge. interesting. Yeah, big yeah. 15% Malbec. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look at the color on this. And yeah. then about 12% Merlot, a little bit of Cabernet Franc. Another fun blend. Yeah, that here. that portion, that percentage of Petit Verdot really speaks to the source itself, where mm -hmm. that fruit came from, and that was from Andy's sourcing, right? Yeah, Matt hit yeah. on that a little bit, you know? Um, you gotta have some amazing Petit Verdot. I mean, of course we do at Alpha Omega, we've had a standalone Petit mm -hmm, Verdot mm -hmm. in the past that yeah. we just think is amazing and uh, wonderful. Um, but this fruit with this Petit Verdot, we had to put this in here. It was yeah. just so lovely. Yeah. Um, and I love the fact that Matt, you kind of hit on that we had already released a couple different AVAs mm -hmm. with Andy, but this one, this red wine is definitely more his style. I think so too. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons for that is I think this this wine probably had the longest barrel aging. I think Correct. it was in barrel for just about three years, yep. which is a, a handful of months more than our typical um, aging regime. And it just, it helped the wine become silky and seamless. I think this wine mm -hmm. is really seamless on the palate and on the aromatic profile. Yeah. You've got beautiful um, ripe fruit, but you've got this kind of nice, dusty, gravelly mm -hmm. um, top note. The oak is extremely integrated um, and not overwhelming considering yeah. how long it was in barrel. Um, Extended barrel aging on this 18. Exactly, yes. yeah, yes. close to three years in barrel. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very, very, very silky, very smooth, um, very seamless wine. Absolutely. Um, you know, some of the wines we do are impressive for a fruit note, like the, the prop red, the, yeah. the purpley black fruit was really grabbing our attention in the last shipment. For me, some of the some of the, the characters that really grab my attention in this wine is the silky seamlessness, yeah. um, the precision that this wine brings to the glass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of fruit though, red fruit, black fruit, yeah. uh, a little bit of blue fruit, yeah. which I, we love. Oh, for sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, uh, another delicious blend um, uh, from you guys here at Alpha Omega, the mm -hmm. red wine blend 2018. Uh, and you know, there's several blends that are gonna be coming on the pipeline. We've done the left bank blend, we've done the right bank blend, mm -hmm. the proprietary red. Yes. Uh, this one's just very, very different. Obviously led by Cabernet Sauvignon, but all these right. other varieties mm -hmm. included, integrated, silky, just yep. what we're looking for. Yep, that's right. When you can put a blend like this together and um, and really show precision and finesse, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's something to be proud of in a different way. You know, uh, when you talk about Cabernet and Cabernet blends, power, strength, density. These are all characteristics we need to have, but when you can achieve that also with the smooth, silky, seamless yep. profile, then you've got something really special. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Drinkable Young, we'll lay down in the cellar for a long time, of yeah. course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, again, we're not making light reds here at Alpha Omega, <laughs> but we're not over extracting. 
right. which is a testament to you and your oh, team. Absolutely. You no, know, you know, I think big, bold flavors, but always in balance is yeah. what we're trying mm-hmm. to do here. And um, I think, you know, our our knowledge of where those boundaries start and end um, really informs us when we put blends like this together. It yeah. allows us to achieve, achieve something unique in every blend. Once again, this wine will not be confused with Prop Red. Absolutely and, not. And, and Very it's different. certainly not in the profile of our left bank and right bank. So mm-hmm. it's really fun to be able to take these blends in different directions and, and show people um, that blends can be so dynamic and fun. Mm-hmm. And there's never one goal. There's always different expressions to be found. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, technically a library selection going out in the wine club. 2018 yeah, vintage. Uh, we're featuring a lot of our 2019s mm-hmm. uh, in our January wine club. Yeah. We released our 19 Chardonnay and our 19 proprietary red. Yeah. But here we go with another fun library selection from Alpha Omega, the red wine. It's fun to release a wine that has a little bit of extra barrel age, a yeah. little extra bottle age. You know, some people we know, they can't hold on to wines. Yeah. And so it's drink them who are you talking about? or nothing. Life short. You know? I'm not sure who you're talking <laughs> Life about. Life short. So now we, have a, now we have a situation where we're like, okay, fine. We're going to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to release it to you a little later. Exactly. So. Drink it and buy more. Yeah. Force in our play. arm. Forcing us to hold it. <laughs> drink it and buy more. Uh, no, but this is one of those wines we're putting in the canner for an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And give yeah. this a try right now to see what you think about it because mm. uh, the 18s are showing so well mm-hmm. uh, in their youth. But again, stock up on more and then sell it for maybe two years. Yeah, maybe sure. two years. Two, if two you can two, do that. Seven. <laughs> uh, the 2018 red wine blend, uh, Alpha Omega lovers out there, club members are going to love this wine. Um, absolutely delicious. And let's let's we should dive back in with Chef Jesse let's because I'm should. smelling some. Yeah. <laughs> you, you should. I got I'm some aromas going on. Here. Al Pastor tacos, oh, and yummy. I'm tasting this red wine, and it's time. It's time. It's time. Okay. Chef, give us a little update. Where, where, we, uh, where have we gotten to here? The update is this. I've made the, the oh, man. pork pastor. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Delicious. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's, there's a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, sweet soy sauce, um, fresh uh, oregano, and like I said, a myriad of different um, Latin spices. So it, the, against the, the either flour or corn tortilla, mm-hmm. The richness of that with this, and then the sweetness of the watermelon pico de gallo that we've just made uh, is phenomenal. I just tried it with the wine. Yes. Gorgeous. And I love the way that pork and fruit go together. They're just a natural combination, oh, aren't amazing. they? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And this, the way this is pairing is, I can't wait for you guys to try it. It's Wonderful. Amazing. I love the way you put your flavors together, Jess. You, you really um, mirror a lot of the sensibilities that winemakers have. You know, you, right. you want power, you want structure in your meat, but you want some zip and you want some balance with your citrus and your herbs. Yeah. There's a lot of similarities. There here. is. That really struck a chord earlier when you were discussing those uh, talking points. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the way I approach uh, when Alpha Omega asked me to to make recipes to pair up these wines. That's yeah. the way I approach yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Similar thought we're process. We're on the same page, buddy. Yeah. Genius Loving has similarity. Uh, one, one more thing. <laughs> it's fun if you're having guests to kind of mix up the uh, tortillas. So we'll do, you can do flour, you can do corn, you can do uh, yellow corn, white corn, and that kind of makes it fun. Have two or three different types of tortillas yeah. to offer your guests. Yeah, nice. It creates a nice color palette. Yeah. And so I'm warming these up for you guys. We'll have some tacos in a little bit. Wonderful. Yeah. I wish everyone could smell what I'm smelling. The wind is moving this way. I'm excited for you guys across to make, the front. I'm excited for them to yeah. make these recipes. They're yeah. really nice. Yeah. The, the, the pairings I'm really proud of. We can't wait for you guys to try these recipes and let us know how they turned out. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Nice Excellent. job, Chef. You Smells bet. amazing. Thanks, guys. Mm, Al Pastor tacos yes, sir. all day. Ugh. All day. <laughs> Every day. Not just on Tuesdays. Not just on Tuesdays, no. <laughs> uh, amazing food pairing. Chef Jesse, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Our 2018 red wine blend, Al Pastor tacos, watermelon, uh, you know. I want to put that one together this weekend. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. And check out our website, aowinery.com. Both recipes, the peach brie tart and the Sauvignon Blanc, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And then the Al Pastor tacos on our website, aowinery.com. Uh, if you go under our wine club section, you'll see all of the past wine club videos that we featured, yeah. recipes from some of these amazing chefs that we brought in. Uh, Chef Jesse is one of our favorites. Uh, so uh, we want you all to play along at home. Construct these these meals and recipes and share with us what you discover and how the pairing works. Yeah, and I know I know my wife and I at home, a lot of the time we're like, what should we make this weekend? You know, um, 
Guys, pull up the website. Check out some of those old, uh, older recipes or, or our newer recipes. Something is going to grab your attention. There's incredible offerings there. Check them out. Yeah, mm -hmm. more to come as well. We've got more wine club allocations throughout 2022. And uh, we're going to be featuring a lot of different great food pairings. So stay tuned for that. Uh, March, I mean, spring wine club allocation, mm -hmm. 2022. Yeah. 55 Sauvignon Blanc, the new release, the 2020. Red wine, 2018. Perfect way to kick off. Uh, the growing season here. Really and truly, Valley. two amazing wines for yes. this time of year. Yeah. It's fun to be talking about them right now at the, at the start of another growing season where we've had such an incredible ideal winter. We're so yeah. excited about the next vintage, but always fun to look back and, and learn and, and taste about what we've done in the past mm -hmm. and take that energy moving forward. So it's a good time of the year for us. Yeah. Speaking about uh, spring and then revival, we've got our spring revival mm -hmm. uh, event here coming up in March, March 19th Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for the spring revival event. Uh, so check out our website, aowinery.com under events. For more information on that, these events that we have throughout the rest of the year are incredible. Another great event we have in March, uh, Air Elite members are going to be invited to our Thomas yes. uh, tour, vineyard tour and luncheon mm -hmm. event. That's March 26th. Okay. Uh, that's a game changer right yeah. there. Air yeah. Elite members, uh, sign up for that. Once again, go you cannot beat tasting the wine amongst the vines where it was grown. We'll talk about the viticulture. We'll talk about some different vintages as we do at these tastings and have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. you learn a lot, you drink a little, mm -hmm. and you've got a great, you've got a great, maybe you drink a lot. Then you're you drink a lot. Right? <laughs> you drink a lot. But it's I think a luncheon you can learn at Thomas. As much as you like. Exactly. Yeah. And similar on the yeah. drinking side. Yeah. As much as you like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out my how do how do I wiggle myself into that Thomas because yeah, Thomas is legendary. We need mm. you. Okay, there. I'm, I'm gonna drink some good Thomas wine there. Uh, March 26, Air Elite Thomas Vineyard Luncheon Tour, and uh, a, a variety of other events throughout the year. Again, go to aowinery.com under yeah. events. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got three different virtual tastings that we're gonna be doing this year as well. Yeah. Uh, so virtual on site. Yeah. Come and taste with us at Alpha Omega. Some great wines coming down the pipeline. Absolutely. There's music to be listened to. Yep. There's dancing to be watched. There is wines to be tasted. I love that you say dancing to be watched. <laughs> right. Where I'm like dancing to participate in. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to watch people dance. Sometimes right? we're similar, Stay Paris. Away. Sometimes we're uh, different. Viewer's yeah. choice, right? <laughs> We're going to have a great time here at Alpha Omega in 2022. We hope you can join us. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're watching this video and you're like, wait a second, I'm not getting the wine club wines that you're discussing, yep. yeah. join the club. Go to, go to the club section, uh, sign up for the different allocations, and we'll send you the Sauvignon Blanc and the red wine blend. Yep. And we'll send you whatever else, other wines that we have. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Uh, sure. But get 20% off our selections, complimentary tastings when you visit Alpha Omega for four, and uh, have a blast with us in our club. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and to me, the, the biggest perk of being in the club is getting access to some of the things that are small production that really you know, the club only has access to. Right. Small production. Um, yeah. Small so, production. <laughs> most of what we yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, folks, um, the, the excitement around some of the new offerings we have, mm -hmm. some new vineyards in the pipeline, some, some new small blends taking place, you're going you're gonna to want to have access to those. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Matt, Brain, thank you so much uh, for your time and for Fun your as always. insight, your genius. <laughs> appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Melissa Paris, assistant winemaker, truly yeah. really appreciate it. Thank and you. special guest chef, Chef Jesse McCord. Cheers, guys. Cheers. You are I'm going to dig into one of these tacos right oh, now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do okay. It. Great job, mm -hmm. buddy. Thank you all Jealous. for watching our video. We hope our club members are doing well, and we mm -hmm. hope to see you at Alpha Mega soon. Cheers. Cheers.